I'm Scott Martin from Bonzo Matsu and thanks for stopping by. We're going to uh, do a little bit of work on this um, this magnificent beast of a radiata pine, a Monterey pine. It's due for a thin out, a winter clean out. You'll see it's quite um, quite full now. It's a large tree, so it's going to take um, well, it's going to take me a bit of time, but hopefully it's not that much time for you guys. You'll uh, also get to see this one get repotted because it's due well and truly for um, for that to happen. And it's going to be a uh, an interesting little experiment this one because it's been a few years since it was um, put into the pot and i think it's going to be quite tight getting it out so that should be uh, that should be a bit of fun but they're a lovely uh, lovely species one of my favorites um, i think that possibly they can be avoided or overlooked at times for bonsai but looking at the qualities of the tree the beautiful bark that it's got the needle quality and the way that it, it, it just resonates pine bonsai to me, I think that they're um, they're definitely worth working with and working out their program that they've got and, uh, and they're very rewarding. So it's gonna take a while, so let's get into it. So while I'm working through this, I just thought I'd um, run through what my, my game plan is for this, this tree and how I'm working on it right now. So there's old needles which have which have died, which I'm clearing those out. That's, that's an easy, obvious one. The second thing I'm doing is I'm going and doing the old one to two. So no more than two branches coming from any one source on the, on the tree. And so that means making some pretty, pretty quick decisions when you're working through clusters of five or six or seven branches coming from the one area. But it's really important to do that, otherwise you'll find that it can get too thick and too full and you'll get swelling in the area where the junction of the branches are. So you need to make those decisions. You can't, you can't procrastinate and you can't leave it for later. Leaving it for later is just gonna mean that you've got um, bigger problems and things that you can't you can't rectify down the track. So I'm uh, I'm just going through and you'll see it's starting to starting just lightly to thin out in the very apex of the tree. There's still a lot to get on with so I better stop talking and get back to it. When we're cleaning pines, or really any tree, you always start from the apex of the tree and work your way gradually down throughout their whole region. And when you've completed that region, then you move on to the next. The reason for that is really, really simple. It's it's gravity. So as we as we clean all the old needles, leaves, whatever it is, fall down to lower levels. And then when we get down to those lower levels, we clean them all out from there and we end up with a nice clean tree without all the scrap in it. So start the apex, work your way down. That's, uh, that's a clean up done. Quite a bit of needle taken off, a few branches cut off, a few things cleaned up, a bit of wire removed, and looking uh, very nice. I said it before and I'll start again, this is, a, um, this is a magnificent beast. This is one of my favorite trees. It's, uh, it's quite a large tree, and, um, and you'll see there's quite a, quite a fair amount of needles on the floor. Okay, so next is repotting. I'll start, um, I'll start by taking the tree out of the pot. 
that's tomorrow, not today. So now it's time to uh, to repot this uh, this beautiful radiator. And there's something I forgot to mention too. When you work with radiator pines, the, um, the smell when you when you cut them or you needle pluck them is just just beautiful. They're really um, really a great tree. So I've got to uh, got to get this beast out of the pot now. Like I said, it's been in there quite a while and um, it's uh, it's quite firm. So I need to do some serious work on it now. First. Uh, First tool of choice would be this little sickle um, to break the bond between the, the tree and the pot. But you can see this one's been worn down to uh, within an inch of its life. So one of the benefits of, of bringing in tools yourself from overseas is that every now and then you can upgrade and get a brand new one. So I, uh, I get to break the seal on this brand new brand new sickle and I'll, uh, I'll give it a crack on here and see what, um, see what we can do. So stick around. That's hard work. So as always, make sure you get the pot set up, ready to go first, before you touch this thing. So originally this was a, uh, a collected tree, so Yamadori, uh, from a, a brand the, uh, around the outskirts of a pine plantation, Radiata Pine Plantation here in Melbourne, Australia. So you'll see that there's a few few larger roots which had been previously cut off. There's a few more around the back here as well. And when it was collected, it was still in the original uh, heavy, dense clay type mix. So when I first acquired this tree, uh, it took probably eight years of repotting at a very slow rate by changing a quarter of the, the root ball from the heavy dense clay to a, to a more pumice based, scoria based mix. And then two years later, another quarter done, two years later, another quarter, and two years later, another quarter, because once they're, once they're collected in that heavy clay, it can be quite um, quite difficult to, to repot them in, in one sitting and have the tree still survive. So that's, um, that's why you'll, you'll notice a few of these larger roots that have been cut over the years. But, um, but all in all, it's, it's, it's rock solid now. There's lots of nice fine roots in there, so repotting is, um, is not a problem. So there it is, cleaned up, thinned out, needle plucked, pruned, repotted, all in time for spring. It's a magnificent tree, I said it's a magnificent beast, it's a, it's a doozy, it's got some, got some weight and size behind it and it's, uh, it's one of my favourites. So hope you enjoyed the video, uh, please give it a like if you did like it. If you didn't, send me a message on any of the socials. I'd love to have a chat with you. Uh, please subscribe to stay in touch and um, stick around. There's plenty more to come. So until next time, happy bonsai.